Welcome to the introduction of Tricerit Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers is a solution for administrators to provide easy, efficient, and comprehensive print management across their enterprise environment. It is optimized for various scenarios like remote desktops, VDI, local desktops, and mobile devices. The product layers onto the existing environment to quickly provide enhanced management to existing printers, which can be print server printers, direct network printers, or printers that are already on the client devices. Printers can be dynamically and automatically presented to the users based on their user account information, the device they're on, and the network they are coming from. This provides consistent printing for the users, which includes better login times, self-service of printing, and a simple printer selection for the right printer at the right time. Administrators gain efficiency improvements and save time and cost to reduce help desk calls. Let's take a look at basic operation. Let's take a look at the basic operation. When a user logs in, they can open the Screwdriver's Printers application, which will show them the printers that they have assigned and the ones that they are allowed to add. The users can select to view the map, and there are more printers on the floor, but the user is presented with the two printers that they have access to. So if the user wants to add a printer in the conference room, they can select it, add it, and they're prompted to refresh the printers in the background. And now they have the additional printer. Opening an application, the user is presented with all available printers for their session, which are combined from the users, groups, devices, network locations. And these can be print server printers using the virtual print driver, or direct printers, or client printers that are on their local desktop. For the administrator, launch the screwdriver's administration. Select to add a new print server, give it a name, and the host name or IP address. It's set to automatically query print servers on default. The available printers are displayed and a refresh operation will gather all the details of the printers that are on this print server. Now in the administrator we see printers from the print server. To assign printers to users or groups in the directory, we browse the Active Directory and select the user. A printer is dragged from the available printers to the user, and we're prompted to always assign the printer to the user or to add, allow the user to add or remove the printer. In this case, we'll select to always add the printer for the user. I now have that printer assigned to this particular user. And to assign to everyone in the directory, we can select the directory, drag the printer to that directory, and again, select to always add the printer. Looking at the user, we can now see the direct assignments as well as the inherited assignments from the domain or other security groups that they're a member of. For screwdrivers direct printers, which do not require a print server, Screwdrivers comes with a printer import application to import local printers or to browse the network for printers to import. For local printers, we can select a printer to add to the database, and we can select the drivers. I'll select the 2025 that I just added, and then also a Rico driver. Back in the administrator console, refresh, and here's the HP printer that I just imported. We can set the driver for this printer to be the 2025 driver. The name and IP address are already included from that import, and now I can assign this printer to the domain the same way that I assigned print server printers before. You can also add a new printer, set the information for the printer, and then select the driver to use. And now I have a printer to assign, again, without a print server. To manage maps, there's a maps tool where you can add an image file to the database.
editing the map allows you to add a printer. So for instance, in this case, if there is a printer in the conference room, we can select the printer to add. We'll also add a printer in this cube here, the HP LaserJet, and also one in the break room, the Brother printer. Save the map, and now the user will have access to the map. They will only see the printers that they're allowed for them. So we'll go in to make an assignment for one of these printers. And in this case, we select not to add it automatically, but give them permission to add it later. When they use the Tricer Printers application, they can add printers on their own. This was just a preview of the basic operation of screwdrivers. For more information, please visit Triceret.com and request to schedule a demo where we can demonstrate how this can apply to your particular needs.